And I am delighted to welcome To Kill a King to the studios here today. They are about to go on yet another tour, which is going to take them all over the UK. You may have seen them in Essex just before Christmas. And the good news is they've got a brand new album coming out as well. And Ralph and Josh are both with me this afternoon. How are you, fellas? Oh, very good, thanks. Kind of recovering from uh, New Year's Eve still. I've got to be really? honest. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. Still a little bit wobbly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just about here. Just a little about bit here. You know today. what? One thing I noticed um, on the train this morning, I could just about afford a train ticket today with the news as it was uh, <laughs> and as i got on the train everybody was clutching a bottle of water yeah, yeah. Those people yeah. come in with water today with yeah, water yeah. Bottles. you can tell it's january water and baraka because yeah. i mean you i mean you guys are no strangers to touring anyway are you and no. and but you've got a big tour coming up uh, but you were playing essex just before christmas weren't you is that right? Because I, I was going to try and get you in before Christmas, but we were fully booked. Oh, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Essex gig coming uh, up. You know, we, uh, the gig we had just before Christmas was in Kingston. Right, okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, but I believe there might have been a... Maybe a session we had in Essex, but was moved. Ah, to, got uh, yeah. ah, right. Oh, so we haven't yeah. missed out then. No, 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 not yet. So, no, yeah, still. everything's still to... Well, this is part why... We're now, we were just chatting about our, what we're going to do uh, as a sort of healthy routine after Christmas oh. and that. Because we've only got 12 days to kind of fit in a healthy lifestyle before we go on tour again. Yeah. So <laughs> it really is, I think yeah. it's just water and vegetables for 12 gonna, days. I was going to ask you about touring, because yeah. touring is not, not a healthy business, is it? Because, I mean, you're just eating on the go. And... I think it's, um, it's. I mean, we, we, we try and not, uh, you know, we try and make it as, as good as we can. But I think it's like inactivity in a van. Mm. And then obviously everywhere you go, the, you're just given free booze. So that's, that's another issue there. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and then very few days off because we try and pack it all in in, in very few days. So, yeah. that we, you know, so we only have the odd day off. So, yeah. I think the worst one, when we were going around America... Because the drives there were like maybe like sometimes fourteen hours, Oof, and like yeah. you know you stretch your legs a bit, but I don't really think the human body's uh, supposed it's to just sit natural. for fourteen hours no, straight. It's not, it's not and also really the good. food you get on the, <laughs> the roadside, you know, America has amazing food and all that, but on the roadside, when uh, that's all you have on offer, it's it's yeah. it's like Taco Bell and yeah, <laughs> like novelty wears off yeah. after a while. Oh, absolutely, yeah, very quickly. When we were in uh, so we were in Nashville for about a week, and uh, sorry, Austin for about a week. And on like the fourth day, we were just hunting to try and find something green because they had everything, but nothing was green. Yeah. It was that sort of craving. <laughs> Give me some veg. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Some... Cause even the veg has got sugar in it, hasn't it? Have you oh, yeah. I remember I ordered a salad there and it came with the same amount of blue cheese on it that you'd get on a cheese board at Christmas. It was like, <laughs> it, was, it was, I mean, yeah. absolutely crazy. Yeah, I, must, yeah. I remember coming back from the States on one occasion and, um, and that was all I could think about was like having something that didn't have sugar and salt yeah. in it. Mm. Anything, because you can't get anything without sugar well, and salt. I, mean, I, I think we were all blown away by the fact that um, with the diet that seems to be there, that there are actually a lot of thin people. I mean, not like what's, what's it's extraordinary, thin? isn't it? It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's. Like, I think it seems to be extremes, though. Either yeah. you get people who are ultra fit and yeah. ultra focused and have lots yeah. of you know zen going on, yeah. and you got the others who just don't care mm -hmm. and just go and, and eat constantly. Yeah. It seems that way. You can always tell as well when there's too much food. When we were in Las Vegas and queuing for one of those buffets, yeah. and somebody behind me said, "There's way too much food here," and you think if they're saying that, there yeah. must be a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we digress. It's great to see you guys. Thank um, you. It's nice to be uh, here. And let's what we'll do is we'll have a quick break for travel. Come back. And we'll hear the first song. What right. are you going to play for us this afternoon? Uh, so we'll probably play uh, the title track from my new album, which is uh, "The Spiritual Dark Age." The Spiritual Dark Age live in the BBC Essex studio in just a second. So the good man said. Turns out God is dead The worshipping signs instead Faith from books they haven't read They're angry all the time Angry at some hole inside Welcome to the spiritual dark age Oh, don't lose your grip Don't get contemplative By the space we live between first breath and then the grave No need to be saved Just some rules on how to behave Welcome to the spiritual dark age Oh, forget about love, it's not a hand from above It's not some dream and there's the rub Just chemicals that flood your brain They're writing poetry about serotonin and dopamine Welcome to the spiritual dark age I'm not alone in you, not alone in this And there's no map and we're all just set adrift Children making pictures in the sky 
Arguing about who's wrong and who's right So the good man said Turns out God is dead We're on our own this time To work out what is yours and mine No reward to being kind No quick fix for the fear you find Oh, welcome to the spiritual dark age Pass me those sedatives, pass on me sentimental Empathy and talking gentle, blinkers on and take the medal The day the TV died, only Ty keep the family alive Oh, welcome to the spiritual dark age I'm not alone in you, not alone in this There's no map and we're all just set adrift Children making pictures in the sky Arguing about who's wrong and who's right Spiritual Dark Age, and that is To Kill a King, my special guest, live in the studio. Great stuff, guys. Thank you. I just got a bit of video of that, by the way, which I will tweet out in a little while. Great. Um, I love a quote. I found a quote that you did about the album, actually, Ralph, which oh, says, God. It has ballads for my single friends watching everyone else gradually pair off, <laughs> and deities and fables getting drunk in bars. It has moments of anger and disgust. All in, what, 40 minutes? Uh, yeah, just Pretty much. maybe slightly under 40 minutes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm so pleased to hear that, because it seems to me we live in an age now where so many albums have these deluxe versions and i think it's i try to listen to as much stuff as i can every week that i sometimes think i see an album it's like an hour and 20 yeah yeah and you think oh come on get over yourselves well eh? i mean i think i I think you've got to really justify it i mean so i'd say it's 40 minutes but it feels like so because we've been working on this for like two and a half years so it's sort of two and a half years distilled into into 40 minutes yeah um so i do i do writing for this but also quite a lot of uh writing for other people that I've started doing in between album two and album three. Yeah. And I think one of the things uh, that I've applied to myself with this one is really trying to justify everything. So, like, like every lyric needs to be really justified. And, like, if you're going to be playing a song that's four minutes or whatever, then you really need to make sure that it's it, it needs those four minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it is that. Because you're right, we're living in, in uh, such... I mean, we were just chatting before, before we started doing this radio chat about... Um, distance between like spotify and things like that now yeah. and i think people's attention spans i mean uh we just are living in a world where people are they want something quick and because they can easily access something else i mean yeah. like when, when i was growing up you buy a cd and that might be your cd for the month and so if you didn't like it then you probably found a way to like it because you know what i mean that was your cd <laughs> yeah, no choice you know what I mean? yeah. well, for now <laughs> if you get something and, and it's not in the first like maybe 30 seconds it hasn't delivered that line or that you know impassioned thing then mm. you're moving on to the next thing i think the other thing with this album is opening lines yeah I'm, I'm quite into opening lines at the moment so like that first line and then you're like okay well let's have a listen like <laughs> yeah, yeah it's funny i had um albert hammond on the show okay. uh what a great a great songwriters from particularly from the 1970s yeah. and I, I love that one of the it never rains in southern california when he wrote that one and the opening line was Got on board a northbound 747. Yeah. And I thought, straight away, you're on his journey. No yeah, messing yeah. about. And there's another one as well, which a bit of opening lines as well, which was um, from The Gambler. Okay. And it was on a uh, on a cold desert evening on a train bound for nowhere. Yeah. You know? And you nice. think, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> you're in, aren't you? Straight away. Uh, do you know Rodriguez? Yes. Guy Sugar Man. So my favourite opening line of all time is, because uh, I lost my job six weeks before Christmas. 
And I'm like, I'm in, mate. <laughs> That's I wanna, it. I'm, yeah, what's your I'm story? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you write for Rag and Bone Man, is that right? Yeah, well, um, done. there's one track I've done, Perfume. Yeah. So, But it's very sweet. He still always gives us... Um, so it was on his previous EP. Yeah. Um, but he always gives us a shout out whenever when he's performing. But it's one of these things that is it's very nice, but it, it, obviously it gives me a pickup. But at the same time, I normally get one tweet from someone in the audience being like, he gave you a shout out, which is great. And then they always say... And I screamed and then realized that no one else was screaming because they don't know who you are. <laughs> so it's a sort of like big ego boost and then immediately takes you back down yeah. to earth. You know I mean? but it's great. He's, though, he's a lovely it? guy. And it's a wonderful because, you know, we talk about Rag and Bone Man and, and so many artists that are coming out now, which have a real soulful uh, artists that have got have got a real feel that they've got some roots about them. Mm. You know, they're not the the days of that processed pop seems to be sweep swept aside now. There's well, you know th there's so. there's bits of it still lingering around, but not a lot now. I mean, some of the you know the big artists around now have really worked at their at their craft for many yeah. years, like like you guys, I suppose. Absolutely. I mean, I'm I'm really hope that is the case. Um, that that sort of the type because that I think you're right. I mean, uh, particularly with him and, and various other artists that are really making it, you do feel like. Uh, they really deserve it and they as you say he's been doing it for years and years and years and mm. then that voice i mean it's just a killer voice because you've got a, a folk feel as yeah. well i mean that and it strikes me that that that's very much part of your dna really that the folk the folk yeah aspect. so i mean um i mean we all kind of come from quite uh musical families and sort of i think music's always been there uh, my dad always used to run folk nights. He was in a group called the Odd Fellows. Uh, oh, yeah. He was also a civil engineer, so it wasn't his sort of main time thing. But yeah, and we used to have lots of like nights where it just I just thought it was a common thing everyone grew up with, where everyone would bring instruments to one person's house and everyone would play, and it was very inclusive. There was no like right or wrong, and uh, particularly like I, I mean you go from like some teenager playing some Nirvana cover to a really like folky Dylan type thing. And then, like, an old couple, old cute married couple playing, like, penny whistles together. You yeah. know what I mean? So it was really anything goes. Uh, and there was no, like, there was no, like, you're not good enough or anything. You know what I mean? It was just everyone yeah. has a go. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, good times and I think a good way to learn with, you know, that sort of thing that everything's right. There's no sort of... Uh, music isn't an exclusive thing in any way. Your musicality actually is coming through here because there's just two of you in the studio. I mean, in the yeah. band, there are five five of you in the band, aren't there? Yeah, so, five is in the band. So it's great that you can sort of branch off and do these like acoustic versions. And I must just ask what, what you're playing as well, because obviously this is this is radio. Yeah. I so have a, what have you got in front setup. of you? So um, for my kick drum, I have uh, I've actually got my stool uh, on its side. Right. Uh, so I'm hitting the actual seat of my stool. Um, I've got a tiny, tiny snare drum, which has got like a tambourine kind of inside it. Yeah. Uh, an egg shaker <laughs> and a foot tambourine as well. And one drumstick. Wow. One, just one drumstick. Just one there. drumstick. Cause you see the egg shaker kind of acts as your, your hi-hat. Right. And then... <laughs> the drumstick acts as your snap. Anyway, I'll, I'll ask to explain that. That's <laughs> I feel a bit bad asking you now because it's almost like how you pull the rabbit out of the hat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's images in their mind now, <laughs> eggshells. And it's amazing what you can make music with, though. Isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. It's yeah. just some brilliant stuff. Mm. It's been great seeing you guys today. Thank you so much. Now, I know that you are the closest you're playing to us coming up, I believe is coming i was looking at your, your your date list here and the next one i've got here is the norwich is norwich isn't it it's the waterfront oh, right. studio yes and that's on sunday the 21st tickets are available for that right now yep. but you're all over the uk yeah so what i'll do is i'll tweet out the video in a second and people can follow you on twitter wonderful and all the details are on there and also links to the album which is out on the 12th isn't it I think. uh yes yes Brilliant. yeah right. yeah, yeah. yeah. What song are you going to play us out with? Uh, so this one is called uh, Compassion is a German Word. <laughs> okay, Compassion is a German Word played live in the BBC Essex studio. This is To Kill a King. Don't be so arrogant You ain't no different to <laughs> anyone I've met All the heroes in our own film May be the villain in someone else's Never Flanders to someone's Homer, the Cobain to someone's Courtney. It's the weight of this comfort and forward that keeps the gun lock safe in the drawer. Don't be so destructive, you ain't no different to anyone I met. We're all fighting our own battles, struggling to swallow some salty regrets. 
Your God a Caliban and an area fixed up in our minds, dissecting every choice we make like some teenage cheerleader barking at the gate. I say compassion, 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 compassion. Oh, compassion, compassion, compassion is my weapon now. Oh, compassion, 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 coo 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 coo. Compassion, compassion, compassion is my weapon now of choice. Don't look so guilty. You've not had a thought someone else hasn't had. And if by some chance you did, that should be enough to die, but man, we're all drowning in this darkness that you see. Despite all our progress, never seems to fit. No matter how long on this rock we're spinning, so I preach. Compassion, 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 compassion. Oh, compassion, compassion, compassion is my weapon now. Compassion, 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 co 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 co. Compassion, compassion, compassion is my weapon now of choice. Compassion, 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 compassion. Oh, compassion, compassion, compassion is my weapon now. Compassion, compassion is my weapon now. Compassion, compassion, compassion is my weapon now. Compassion, compassion, compassion is my weapon now. Compassion, compassion, compassion is my weapon of choice.